songs, I think. So my stories will be will be song stories. And it's uh, it's nice to just quickly just to say hello to Cork. I lived there for a couple of years after high school and spent many nights uh, playing music in the snug at the Spalpeen Fanuc and the corner house and the lobby, those places. I don't know if, if they're all still there yet or not. Anyhow, so I'm going to sing a, <clears throat> just a couple of songs. I'll sing you sort of a, a, a little bit of a longer one and then maybe a short one. And so these are from the, the sort of oral song tradition in, in Newfoundland, which is, of course, is a worldwide thing. And so just unaccompanied singing is a storytelling singing kind of thing. So this one is called uh, The Fishermen of Newfoundland or The Flemings of Torbay. Those thrilling tales we heard last week, it's in our memory yet. Two fine young men born in Newfoundland, snatched from the jaws of death. Two fine young men born in Torbay, went adrift on an angry sea. Drove from the schooner Jubilee on the 18th of April. They lived to prosecute their voyage on Grand Bank's stormy shore. Where's many a hardy fisherman that never returns no more? Tossed on those seas all those long days, and bitter was each night. No friend to speak a kindly word, no sail to wave in sight. For twelve long days and twelve long nights, those two poor fellows lay. To gaze on sky and water throughout each dreary day. For twelve long days and twelve long nights, those two poor brothers lay. With sore stroke of hunger, no water, no nor food. Till at last a vessel hove in sight and saw the floating speck. The Jessie Maris was her name, collated from Quebec. An hour or more while winds did roar, the Jessie sailed around to see if any tidings of the dory could be found. The crew all standing in the bow, all anxious for to hail. When the captain spied her in the fog, just aft our windward rail, the jolly boat that hung astern of good old oak did stand. The ropes were then put round her, and downward she was lowered. Two tough old seamen manned the oars, and that their work did go. The captain standing in the bow to take the boat in tow. He took those two poor boys on board. He nobly done his part. He watched them with a mother's care. He done a mother's part. He sowed the lives of those poor boys with a kind and tender heart. The first one spoke, it was Peter, the eldest of the two. He told the captain. 
Captain who they were part of the Jubilee's crew and how in April on the bank by chance got drift away and light exposed in an open boat for many a dreary day. Long live the Jesse's gallant crew, likewise her captain bold. His name shall be recorded in letters of bright gold. May God now send them happiness in every port they lay. And the plucky boys that manned the oars were the Flemings of Torbay. There you go. The plucky boys manned the oars, the Flemings of Torbay.